It's a high power to go, you fall low, you look more than low, yeah, ready, you know. Oh, Tampa, I'm coming back, I'm alone, if you're not alone, why am I alone? I don't know what you want me to, am I wrong? Hey, dolls, and welcome back to my channel. So, today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this really simple, clean, soft glam. Um, I would say that this could be every day because it's not even using foundation, so you guys can wear this as something to protect you from the sun because your girl needs it. <laughs> so you guys are going to see the products that I use, but it's super easy and simple and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, make sure you keep on watching. Alrighty, so starting off with a clean bare face, I'm going to go in with my NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. And this is not a foundation it's a tinted moisturizer so it's very lightweight it's airy it's creamy and it's moisturizing and i have really dry skin so this helps me drastically but it also gives me that nice tint so if i have like any minor blemishes it helps cover but you can also build this product up so if you want more of a medium coverage you can do two or three layers and you also get that benefit of the sunscreen and vitamin c but you still have that really nice radiant finish to it so i really really love this product it's one of my go-to's so now i'm gonna go in with my la girl pro concealer and i really still love this product i know this is something that we used to use a long time ago but it still works for me and i really like the coverage so even though we didn't get that very full coverage with that skin tinted moisturizer we're gonna get it with this concealer so i like to add that to brighten up and to cover up those dark circles or whatever you may have so while that gets tacky i'm gonna go in with my black opal foundation stick and i like to add this to give a nice bronze and contour to my face so i'm gonna do that to my nose and also to my eyelids to give it that nice warm definition that I'm going for. So once we pretty much blend that under eye concealer out, we're not finished. It's a process with blending out these things because you kind of want to perfect it. But we're going to do majority of that towards the end of the video as well to add those finishing touches. So don't worry. <laughs> but after I get the rest of that product under my eyes with the concealer, I'm going to go in and kind of clean up under the bronzer and just add a little more coverage to um, my face from that excess concealer that I had on that brush.
Now to set my face, I like to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I don't necessarily like to bake because I don't want my face to be cakey or flaky. So I blow off the excess powder from my beauty blender and kind of just tap that into my under eyes to brighten up and mattify my look because a lot of those products we used were very moisturizing and creamy. So this sharpens and adds more brightening and definition to our under eyes and mattifies us up. Now to my favorite, well, I'll say my second favorite part about my makeup is adding bronzer. Can you guys believe that at one point in time, I did not use bronzer and I had an egg hit, like no type of definition and everything just was flat. So guys, please invest in a nice bronzer, warm your face up and it just makes you look nice and golden. <laughs> So another product the girlies need to add to their makeup routine is blush. Blush will literally amplify your makeup from looking nice and bronzy and golden to nice bronzy golden, refreshed and floral. Like you're gonna look so girly and happy and just woke. Like the effect that blush has on your makeup is mandatory. And I absolutely love this Milk Cosmetics blush. It's cheeky and it's also a creamy formula so you don't have to worry about it being powdery and just looking too intense on your face. You can build up this product to how vibrant you want it to be. So since this is a very minimal and soft clean look, I'm not gonna use eyeshadow in this tutorial. I actually really love the Sunstalker Fenty Bronzer so much that that's probably what I use on my eyes 90% of the time because I rarely wear eyeshadow to begin with, but this really gives me that nice warm look that I'm going for. So I'm going in to add those finishing touches on my eye, to my nose, under my cheeks, and also on my forehead. All the places where I use that black opal foundation stick. Once I line my lips, I go in with one of my top three favorite lip glosses, and it is the MAC Cream Sheen Lip Gloss. Y'all, when I tell you this lip gloss never ever turns white, it doesn't cake up on your lips, it doesn't turn sticky, it remains just lustrous, super glossy, high shine, just very luxurious. So after that, I'm going to add my voluminous l'oreal mascara nothing too major and then to set everything i'm going to use my mac prep fix plus spray and after that i'm just going to add some little strokes to my eyebrows because my eyebrows are micro shaded if you checked out my last video and we are completed <laughs> That was a lot. I just did so much. Oh my gosh. But y'all, this is the final result of my fresh makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and learned something. Let me know what you guys want to see in my future videos. And thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.
baby mama. 